Wedding uni weather. Hi, I'm Helena and this is your weather forecast for the next few days. We woke up to quite a sunny, bitter Tuesday that soon turned into quite a soggy, cold Wednesday. And the rain on Wednesday was due to this T structure of fronts across the UK that brought with it quite a lot of rainfall and even hail and snow on high ground. Although we did have some intermittent sunshine once these fronts had passed. Into Thursday, we can now see that from the synoptic chart, we have this N-shaped structure of fronts now over the UK. And so out in the east, we'll have this warm front that will be moving westwards across the UK, and that's what we'll be bringing all the rainfall for Thursday morning. Although as a whole, Thursday will be a lot drier than Wednesday. Also out in the Atlantic, we have this ridge forming of high pressure, and this is kind of a sign of good things to come. So we're going to keep an eye out on this, because this is what's going to be bringing the weather we'll be expecting from Saturday into the weekend. So back to Thursday, this shows Thursday lunchtime. So throughout the morning, this warm front is going to have moved westwards across the UK throughout the morning. And so you can now see this kind of sitting where the, the rain is seen on this chart. So down kind of the spine um, the west of the UK. And the rest of the country does remain quite overcast. So the fronts will continue, obviously, to move westwards throughout the day. They don't remain stuck at all, but we do get quite a stubborn occlusion on the south coast where everywhere else does remain overcast into Thursday lunchtime. There is a chance for sunshine to, to break through. So throughout midnight, we are very much a remain quite an overcast night, apart from Scotland, which will experience a, a bit of cooler temperatures. Although we do still have this occlusion that is sitting over the south coast and into the channel. And this is going to remain throughout the night on Thursday and even into Friday. So temperature-wise, they still remain in single figures. They don't drop majorly cold, although they will feel a few degrees cooler because we do have this cloud cover. So the cloud cover is keeping the temperatures a little bit warmer, although they actually happen to feel colder than they'll be forecasted. So into Friday morning, we have this occlusion is still, as I mentioned before, it's still quite persistent, still quite stubborn. And it's now over southern Wales and southern England. Um, but this will then kind of weaken a bit throughout the day and dissipate towards the evening. But throughout Friday, any other rainfall experienced across the country will dry up by lunchtime, apart from down south. So then by dinner time, we have chance for some sunshine to break through. So we do have some sunshine occurring in the north and the midlands. And eventually, we do have you know, the, the south dissipating a little bit. It's no longer sitting over southern Wales. So here we can see the synoptic chart. This shows lunchtime on Friday. And this shows this very persistent occlusion that I've been talking about quite repetitively. So this is seen, we can see the same place, over southern England and southern Wales. And this is what has been causing that quite persistent rainfall we're going to be experiencing over that part of the country. So into the outlook, this shows lunchtime on Saturday. And here we can see that we now have this high pressure that's very much dominating across the country. And so this is going to bring us more, you know, drier conditions, warmer. We'll have quite a spring sunshine on Saturday but temperatures will still remain quite cool, and we'll, we'll, we are predicting some overnight frost for the weekend. So to summarise, we'll have quite cold, widespread, wet Wednesday, with some localised showers on Thursday. All those fronts will eventually fizzle out by Friday, and we'll have some spring sunshine on Saturday with overnight frosts. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Wedding, uni, weather.